I am Chris from Buddy Pole and Mastworks, and uh, we're at the Orlando Hamcation. And uh, second day of the show, it's Saturday. Um, just going to maybe talk about a few of the things we have here. Most of you know about our hex beam. It's the lightest commercial hex beam, I believe, in existence. It's nine and a half pounds, fully loaded, um, six bands, and um, you can run full legal limit on that. Uh, the design is um, intended to be something that, that's set up very quickly. So the antenna itself is, after you've done it a number of times, 20, 25 minutes, you can set that up. You're walking underneath and everything's color coded and you're just snapping the wires into place um, and then putting it up in the air. Nine and a half pounds. Um, yeah, my my uh, my uh, 12 year old daughter, she can run that up. No problem at all. Um, it's pretty easy to do. So one person set up field day camping, um, uh, de expeditions, really great for that. The um, the mast works, the tripod and mast system is an optional purchase. And we designed the hex beam just to drop on top of this system and then cam over um, very quick and easy. And um, we have a, uh, a new uh, rotator that this is a prototype, but that'll be coming out um, this year and wireless um, can run it from any phone, smartphone, um, tablet, PC, that type of thing. Uh, Wi-Fi, runs over Wi-Fi, has an electronic compass so it knows which way is north. There's no um, having to orient the, the tripod. It, it knows immediately which way is north. And um, with the software package, you can actually just put in somebody's call sign or click on the map and it's going to automatically rotate and fire right at uh, right at that station. So. so right now you've got it rotating at 360 degrees and it's kind of moving slow. Is this going to be the right. speed? This is the speed, yeah. Okay. So that, that's its normal traveling speed then? Right. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, you want, to, you want to keep it pretty slow uh, to rotate. And um, reality, it's, you know, maybe 30 seconds to get um, well, closer to 45 seconds to do a full revolution. But, okay. Yeah. When, when do you expect this to be available? The rotator by summer. That's our goal. Okay. Um, so we have new enclosures coming right now. Actually, I get them next week. Didn't quite make it for the show. Um, but, um, and that'll be our, our last kind of test before uh, we go into production with those. What, uh, what options will this require for powering out in the field? Yeah, a couple different ways, 12 volt battery, um, so 12 volt DC, um, or you can also run it off of one of the little power banks that you use to, to power a phone, that type of thing. Um, uh, you, uh, USB-C connector on the bottom, okay. so five volt, uh, and it, it'll run that. Do you have an idea how long that would, would last if you used to like a, like a 10 A long time. Like, yeah. Long time? I, I don't, yeah, I don't have the... The numbers on that but um it takes such little power um you know it's a few hundred milliamps w when it's rotating and then it's just sitting you know um I mean, so obviously your mileage will vary based on how, how yeah. much rotation you're doing yeah i don't think it's going to take much much of a pack to run that for you know a day of operating and then you had mentioned the feed point you had uh, some adapters. oh yeah for those customers that uh that already have a buddy hex. So we have some new feed points and two different versions. We've got the uh, SO239 version and then the BNC. So full legal limit. Um, I'm telling people five, 600 watts on the BNC. Okay. We've run more through it, but um, yeah, if you're gonna run that kind of power, you're, you're better off with the SO239. These are $45 and um, uh, those should be on the website next week as well. And uh, those just just drop on on the top posts on the uh, the 20 meter posts on the on the buddy hex. Just drop it on. It sits tight against there and then run your cable straight down. So those are those are finally uh, available and uh, yeah, they're really nice feed point.
that's our buddy stick pro that's set up out out front down here okay and that's really popular for poda activations just everything's compact it's in a, the uh, little portfolio case which is laid open down there but um complete antenna system coax and um the neat thing about it is the feed point allows you to attach our shock corded legs that fold up and go in the bag with the antenna. So you can put that on any terrain, even uneven terrain, and it's gonna put the feed point up um, nearly to four feet there, if you can see down at the end. And so we elevate, we use a single elevated radial as the, uh, the ground side of the antenna. And um, so the key is to keep that up off the ground, several feet above the ground. And in the past, I've done that just by finding bushes or low tree limbs or things like that. Um, anything non-conductive electric fence posts work well but uh a lot of people have asked for something that would fit in the bag that would allow them to to elevate that radio no matter where they they set up so we have a um a little bipod down there at the end um and it just it just sets up with a little piece a joining piece in the middle and the wire goes over the top and you and you take a toggle and turn it sideways and it pinches that wire holds it and it just leans back and uh, you can set that up in the middle of a parking lot and it, um, it'll be stable. Okay. So uh, if you had a lot of wind, you run a little little piece of cord down to the ground to a rock or something and that would, that would keep it secure for windy situations, that type of thing. Okay. I'll have those on the website. If you already have a buddy stick antenna, um, then we can add that. We can ship that to you as an accessory and that'll be on the website starting next week. Okay, so so it would be the the toggle and the poles. Yep, as, the, a, as a as a kit. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yep. <laughs>